Hello and welcome to the channel. One thing I've been wanting to do for quite a while now is to get into Raspberry Pi programming, particularly for use with robotics. Until now I've been using Arduinos for all my robotics projects, which are great for doing precisely timed operations, but limited in their processing capabilities and some of the accessories they support, cameras being the main example. Raspberry Pis on the other hand are mini computers with higher clock speeds, more advanced connections and the pros and cons that come with running an operating system. To start me off on this programming journey I picked up this book by the Raspberry Pi guy on YouTube. It was recommended to me by a colleague as it goes through the process of building and programming a robot from scratch and assumes no prior knowledge. That's great for me as some of the things I know from Arduino may not directly transfer over to Raspberry Pi so having everything explained is a good thing. The robot that gets built by following the book is this little two-wheeled rover. It can drive forward and backward and turn on the spot. As such, these are the same movements some of my existing robots can do, so it would be easy for me to add a Raspberry Pi to one of them and use that as the platform for following along with this book. These robots do have some sentimental value though. For example, one is the first Arduino kit I ever got. So instead I'll be creating a new robot. Rather than follow the book fully though and create what's shown on the front cover, I'll be using this as an opportunity to make a robot I've always wanted to have, that being a mechanum wheeled rover. I'll explain more about mechanum wheels later, but first let me show you the chassis I've brought for this journey. This is the Rover 5 platform by Dagu, which I picked up for half price in Robo Savvy's February sale. As you can see, it has two tracks and this open body for attaching all manner of add ons. Also, the ground clearance can be adjusted by changing the angle of these arms. What's nice about this version of the platform is that it has four independent motors, each with its own encoder feedback. If you're not familiar with encoders, they allow for the relative rotation of an axle to be measured, meaning that a robot can know if its motors are turning too fast or too slow and adjust their speed accordingly. This will become important when I swap out the tracks for the wheels I mentioned earlier. Speaking of which, let me show you one. This is a mechanum wheel. It's one of two wheel types that has rollers around its edge to give it very low friction in one direction. The other wheel type is called an omni wheel, which you can see a picture of on screen now. Omni wheels have their rollers at 90 degrees to the main wheel rotation, whereas mechanums have them at 45 degrees. The low sideways friction means that multiple wheels can be at different angles on a robot without them fighting each other like traditional wheels would. This allows a robot equipped with them to move in any direction on a flat surface. The reason I'm using mechanum wheels over omni wheels for this robot is because their 45 degree rollers make them want to move at diagonals, meaning they can be positioned in a normal car axle layout and still achieve movement in any direction. Left and right pairs are needed for that though, which is often why mechanums are sold in packs of four. In my case I brought a four pack from Vex Robotics. There are many versions of mechanum wheels that you can get, ranging in size and roller mounting. I got these VEX ones because they have a decent diameter, have centre mounted rollers and were relatively cheap. They are not exactly designed for mounting on the Rover 5 chassis though, so a bit of modification and 3D printing is in order. First though, let's remove these tracks. With the tracks off I've been able to take a closer look at the axles on this platform. They're 4mm in diameter and have this flat side that they use to apply the rotation to the track roller. The mechanum wheels on the other hand have this square hole that's standard across the VEX Robotics range that's roughly 3mm across. So to get them mounted I need to drill out the hole then come up with a solution to stop them freely rotating. The idea I currently have in mind for that is to make use of these collars that come with the kit that as you can see has a screw to lock it onto the shaft. Next though, let's get drilling. Here's what I came up with for locking the rotation of the axles to the wheels. 
it's a remix of an adapter design I found on Thingiverse that was made for fitting the Vex Mechanums to another robotics construction set. What I like about this design is that it attaches to the wheels from both sides and uses the inner spokes to lock the rotation, meaning no further wheel modification is needed. The change I've made from the original design is to add space on the rear part for the earlier mentioned collar to be mounted, with a 16mm screw being used to join it to the plastic as you can see. I also changed the front part to have a hollow centre so that I could fit a separate hubcap piece on. Ok so now it's time for me to mount the Mechanum wheels on the Rover. I really like how these Mechanum wheel adapters turned out. Maybe it's because of the use of hex screws but to me they look like car hubcaps. If you happen to have a Rover 5 platform that you want to put Mechanum wheels on, I've put a Thingiverse link down in the description so that you can print your own hubs. Well sadly that's all I have time for in this video so seeing the Rover move will have to wait until a future video. In the meantime if you have any questions about this Rover feel free to leave a comment and if you like the content I'm doing consider subscribing to be updated on future videos. Thanks for watching.